uh, no, it's uh, it's just what we wanted, and um, obviously the player's been back um, about eight or nine days now, I think, on the training ground, and uh, nothing is any better than playing matches. And I think they really enjoyed themselves tonight. Obviously, we've had a, a very good turnout as well from everyone here in Billingshurst, and uh, quite a few of our fans came down from Crawley tonight. So um, it's been a, a very good night for us, and we thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, our hosts were very hospitable towards us particularly their defence. <laughs> but uh, no, it was a good night. Great workout for everybody. What were the main positives for you? I mean, you played 11 trialists tonight, but there was good continuity throughout, wasn't there, in the performance? Yeah, well, obviously we tried to mix it up. So there was some senior boys in with, with some of the young kids and I think uh, they sort of helped them through it. Um, you saw uh, little um, uh, young in the first half. Uh, come into the team uh, and sort of Jimmy Smith and, and Connor Henderson, even though they're new lads themselves, you know, I thought those three in particular stood out in the first half for the way that they passed the ball, the way they kept the ball and uh, obviously Connor chipped in with a couple of good, good goals as well. Um, so I was delighted really with, with everything that went on and uh, all the trialists that came and played certainly wore the shirt with a bit of pride, which is what we're looking for and obviously they're all trying exceptionally hard to to impress the coaching staff. So um, all in all, it's been a it's been a very good night. And as as I always say, nothing can ever replace playing matches. You know, whatever you do on the training ground. Uh, so there was a few uh, misplaced passes at times, but um, I was delighted with everything tonight. I have to say. And I guess on Tuesday night at Oakwood, it'll be a similar sort of squad and a similar sort of setup. Yeah, it will. Um, very much the same. Again, there'll be there'll be a few trialists. Uh, I, I will obviously keep one or two of those involved, uh, keep them on uh, for probably three or four more days next week. Um, so it will be a, a similar a similar kind of turnout from us. Obviously all the all the big big boys will, will play and uh, I think it's important that they play and get as many minutes under their belt as they possibly can. So uh, yeah, we're looking forward to that. Been a good day all round, obviously with Guion Edwards rejoining yeah. the club today. You must be delighted about that. Yeah, um, and, and joining permanently, you know, that's, that's the great thing about it. I've been... Uh, I've been desperate to tell the world about it for about four or five days, but we we had to uh, we had to, a few T's and C's to, to, to deal with, and um, I have to say that um, we really should show a great uh, amount of appreciation to Swansea City. They've been absolutely brilliant with us. You know, when when you're taking a player from their development squad, they could sort of put a half a million pound price tag on his head. Um, which uh, which has happened in the past, I know, but they were very good with us. They want him to, to go out and play football. They obviously want to keep uh, informed of how well he's doing. Um, we have had to put uh, a sell-on percentage in there. Um, but they've been very good about everything, Swansea City, and uh, I think Guion appreciates that, you know, he's leaving a Premier League club, but he's going to play regular football with us, and um, that might not have been the case had he stayed with Swansea. So. Uh, uh, it's been a good day all around, Bruce, to be honest.